Hey, it's Mike here from Primal Surf, friggin' T, New Jersey. We are on the beach looking at our 2019 lineup of all-around subs. So what is an all-rounder paddleboard or sup? All-rounder means it's made for all-round conditions, going from flat water to light ocean conditions, and some of these boards actually surf quite well that we have in this lineup here. From left to right, we have the Sonova One. The next is the Bark Alika made by SurfTech. The next one is the Sonova Cruise. Fourth board is the NSP All-Rounder Coco Mat. Then there's the SurfTech Armor Tech. And the last one would be the SurfTech Inflatable or NSP inflatable. We're taking out the Sonova One. I'm using this board in the 9 foot 5 inch range. Comes in three sizes going from 9 foot 5, 10 2, 10 11. Sonova One is really a great board for going from flat water to ocean paddling and actually surfs quite well with that little bit of a uh, little bit of a point to the nose. It fits into the wave when you start surfing that it won't um, it won't be too much out front to handle um, but it's a great flat water board works in all conditions I chose to do this demo in the ocean just to show you that um, it will handle just the small wave surfing I don't recommend these boards for big wave surfing unless you really know what you're doing next board that we're going to do is the SurfTech Alika it's a beautiful board. It's a little bit narrower. It's still in the all-round range, but it has the um, the flexibility of light surfing. It's fast on the water because it's a little bit narrower in the template, but we like these boards. We've traveled with these boards and had them in a lot of different conditions. I've paddled them all around here, so it's a little bit faster. When you take the board into a, a narrower width, the board will travel faster through the water but if you're a bigger person you might want to consider one of the larger boards. Next board that we're showing in this range is the Sonova Cruise. Sonova Cruise has a little bit flatter rocker to it which is going to make it faster on the water. Instead of being in the 32 inch range we pull this into a 30 inch wide range which will make it faster. This would be still good for light ocean paddling not quite as surfy as the uh, Sonova One. Uh, this board comes in the 10 foot 6 inch range. Great board and the construction of the Sonovas and the surf techs are very high strength to weight ratio. Highly recommend these boards for just the, the fact that they're light, they're strong, they're beautiful, easy to load up on the car. And another board in the uh, high strength to weight ratio is the NSP Coco Mat All Rounder. This board is the 10 foot 6 inch model. That's 32 and a half inches wide. There again, it's pulled in in the nose and it's a great board to surf. It has a lot of fin setup options on it. Great board for a family member to uh, share with, with amongst the family members. Has more width than the other boards in the lineup. Comes in a variety of sizes, 10 foot, 10 6. Uh, up to 11 foot I believe then uh, it also surfs well as you can see it'll handle the uh, the trough of the wave with that scoop up in the nose real nice the cocoa mat is made from uh, matting the board together in a uh, vacuum bag process and gives it a high strength to weight ratio this board I'm taking out is more of a flat water board can do some lightweight ocean paddling, but it's a little heavier by design. It's meant to uh, be very, very durable. 10 foot 6 inch. It's called the uh, SurfTech Armor Tech. So it actually has a hole through the nose molded into it. You can chain it to a, a dock or outside. It'll handle a lot of UV sunlight. And great if you have a family or you live on the on the bay and you just want to lock it outside and or lock it up on a dock or on a boat it'll take a beating. Uh, I'm showing it surfing it but if you're looking to do more ocean paddling go with one of the lighter boards. It takes a lot of skill actually to uh, maneuver a heavy board like that 
So you can see I'm having a hard time just throwing a turn on this board, but great board. It'll handle it'll handle uh, the entire family and the dog. Last board I'm going to show is the NSP all-rounder inflatable. Great board. It has uh, actually flat battens on the the deck and the the bottom to give it extra added strength and uh, well not strength to give it more rigidness. Inflatable boards are notorious for being flimsy and they they're bouncy, but you can inflate this to the proper um, psi, and then the battens top and bottom give it more of a rigid feel. If you live in an apartment, you have nowhere to store your board, absolutely nowhere. You just take it out of the bag, lay it on the ground, and pump it up. Off you go. It fits into a handy little backpack. Great board. I like taking these out in the ocean, just playing around on them. But uh, if you want to get serious about your your paddling and your surfing, and I, I recommend a stiff board for uh, a lot of paddling if you have the convenience of being able to lock it up, but they're fun. Even taking them out on the ocean and trying to ride the waves on them, lots of fun. If you fall down on this, you're not going to hurt it, or you, you know, falls off your car in the parking lot, no problem. Well, there you have it. I hope this video was helpful to you. 2019 lineup of all rounders and primal surf.